So you're this Mr. Leary, was his name? Yes, yes. Um, you officed with him later in life, you said. Uh, uh, was he still ATF at the time? Or? He, he was still ATF at the time we officed together. Okay. And, and he became a very, very close friend of mine, extremely close friend of he's mine. He's not around anymore? He's, he's gone. He lived till he was 97. Wow. Right. But he had stories. And, Is he from uh, this area and does he have family? He's from stuff? Fort Dodge. He, he was born and raised in Fort Dodge. His, his parents were some of the original founders of Fort Dodge. Wow. Right. Uh, he's gone. He's deceased. He has no family in Fort Dodge. He had one daughter, went to California, and she's deceased. Yeah, he, he's gone, his family's gone. Mm -hmm. But he was a treasure trove of information okay. if I would have realized it all at the time. And he was very, uh, oh, what should I say? He was Irish, of course, with that name, you know, he's Irish. And he had the gift of gab and, and, and he had a lot of names, which of course I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna use any names, but, I think he knew as many people in Carroll County as I did, even though I was born and raised in Carroll County. He said from the time he joined the ATF un until the time he retired, which I think was about 56 or 57, his first 10 or 12 years, he said 95% of his time was spent in Carroll County. That's amazing. So I'm sure that he was the one or one of a, of a handful of people who everybody was running away from. That's right, that's right. He was the prohibition agent. He was the treasury agent, right. He was the ATF, was his proper title, ATF agent. But it was prohibition agent, they called him, right. He was the one who found the stills. He was the one who paid off the, uh, as his term, it's stoolies. He paid off the stool pigeons, mm -hmm. the, right, the stoolies. He was the one who had the contact with him. He's the one who made the raids. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, he told me, he said, Dean, he said, it was so foolish. <laughs> he said, those people were trying to make a living. He says, I know it was illegal, but he said, they didn't kill anybody or anything like that. They weren't doing, <laughs> doing anything as far as viciousness. Mm -hmm. They were trying to make a living in the Depression era, which was hard to do. Mm -hmm. 